Hi, this is Shelley Chapman, Senior Educational Consultant at the IDEA Center, and this is a short video to explain the adjusted scores in your IDEA Student Ratings of Instruction report. When you teach a class, you know there can be factors outside your control that can impact the learning experience for your students. The IDEA system uses a statistical technique to exclude the effect of variables that are likely to impact your scores, but which are outside your control. That's why you have two types of scores in your IDEA report, the simple average or the raw score and the adjusted score. According to research done at the IDEA Center, two contextual factors that have the biggest impact on students' ratings of the course and their learning are student work habits and student motivation. We glean information about contextual variables from items on the instrument, such as, I really wanted to take this course regardless of who taught it, and, as a rule, I put forth more effort than other students on academic work. Class size also has an impact on student ratings, but to a much lesser extent. Those teaching small classes typically have an advantage over those teaching large classes. This is a table that shows the average progress ratings for classes that differ in levels of student motivation and student work habits. On the far left column, you see the subgroupings for work habits from high to low. Across the top row, you see the subgroupings for motivation from high to low. In the cells, you see the average progress ratings for classes when this objective was selected as important or essential by the instructor. You will note here that students who fall in the top 10% of the IDEA database rating their work habits and motivation as high rate their learning more than one whole point higher than those students who are in the bottom 10% of the IDEA database rating their work habits and motivation as low. Since the purpose of adjusting scores is to level the playing field when comparisons need to be made between instructors, you will see your adjusted scores go down when the students in your class report higher than average motivation and work habits. Your adjusted scores will go up when your students report lower than average motivation and work habits. This decision flowchart can help you decide when to use raw scores and when to use adjusted scores. If your adjusted scores are higher than your raw scores, we recommend you use the adjusted scores. This means that you had negative contextual circumstances outside your control that impacted your ratings. If your adjusted scores go down, you should ask an important question. Do your raw scores meet or exceed the expectations that were set by your unit? If so, it would be reasonable to use the raw scores. You can learn more about adjusted scores from our website, where we have several resources. First, there's a helpful document entitled, Interpreting Adjusted Scores. Also, there are several blog posts on this topic. If you're interested in the statistical details of the process of adjusting the scores, you will find that information in Technical Report Number 12. The IDEA Help Community is where faculty submit their questions for answers from IDEA staff or from other clients. And if you prefer, you can send an email message to info at and we'll be happy to help you.